Hello doers and welcome to this new video on Avatax. Now Avatax is the tax calculation service offered by Avalara. It works for both the United States and Canada and is regularly updated with the latest rates and regulations. Now this ensures that your sales and use taxes on your sales orders, your invoices and other documents are always up to date. You can take advantage of Avatax by connecting it to your Odoo database. And trust me when I say that it is really simple and easy to set up. In fact, I'm going to show you just how. All right, to start, you want to make sure that you already have an Avatax account set up. If you don't, you're going to need one. Now, you also want to make sure that your company data is set up in your Odoo database. Now, in creating your database, the country that you set for your company sets the fiscal position and helps Avatax calculate the right rates. In addition, make sure the Avatax module is installed in your database because you're going to need it. All right, now up next, you're going to want to copy the API ID and the API key from your Avatax account settings. Then you're going to want to do what I'm doing right here, which is opening Odoo Accounting. Go to Configuration and Settings. And then we're going to want to scroll down for a little bit just so that we reach this Avatax section over here. All right, once that we're here in the Taxes section, paste your API ID into the first slot and then your API key into the second one. And once that you do that, you want to test the connection with this little button right here. What that does is it allows you to see, did you put the stuff in correctly? Now, the Avatax account number will be the API ID, and the license key will be the API key. Now, I already did it beforehand because I love saving you time. And you also have a couple of other settings that you can enable for the Avatax integration. In our case, you want to make sure you tick the box next to address validation. Go on and save those settings, and I'll show you why. All right, now for accurate tax calculation, you want to use complete addresses for the contacts you have saved in your database. However, Avatax can still work by implementing a best effort attempt if you have only submitted a country, state, and zip code. However, those three are the minimum required fields. So make sure you have them. All right, let me show you what this means. So we're gonna go up here to customers. Customers, Jackson Group, very fine group. Now, once that we're here on the customer form, I can manually validate the address by selecting this validate option. Now what this does is it'll show us, you know, our original address and the validated one. And it'll allow us to quickly review stuff, and if it's correct, we can save it as a validated address. But in our case, it's already valid. Alright, now, once that you do that, this updates the customer's address in my database. And this is so that Avatax can easily read it and use it in its tax calculations. Now up next, I want to set an Avatax category on my products. I can either set it on the individual product form or the product category form, which applies the Avatax category to all the products in that category. So to do that, we're already in accounting, so we're going to go up here to configuration, find the setting that says management and product categories. In our case, office furniture. Now. For my office furniture product category, I need to choose the Avatax category that is the closest match. So in our case here, we want beds, furniture, and accessories. Perfect. All right. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, up next and finally, let's set the fiscal position to be detected automatically. Now, to do that, I want to go back into accounting. And we're going to go back into our configuration menu. And finally, where are we going to select those doers? The fiscal positions. As you can see, since we have our Avatax module installed in the database, like I told you to have, we can see the automatic tax mapping over here inside of the line on our fiscal position. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. All right. Once that we're here, you're being shown a lot of stuff. Now, the very first thing I need to make sure is that the use Avatax API is selected over here, as well as detect automatically. Both need to be enabled. Now. This, and the reason for that actually, is that it makes it so that Avatax calculation is automatically applied to documents like sales orders and invoices. I can limit it to certain rules like only apply it to a certain country or zip code range, but I would like to leave that as is right now, so we're not going to do anything over here on the right side. Now, in addition to this, make sure to go and check the Avatax tab, which is over here, and it'll only appear if you have this selected, so that's how you'll know. Now, you will see the two fields labeled invoice and refund over here. And these require you to input the tax accounts for each of these operations in order for them to work properly. Now, 
everything here looks pretty good. So I think it's time for us to see Avatax in action by creating a sales order and adding a product. So I'm going to go out of here and we're going to go directly into sales. New quotation and our customer, the one we just set up, the Jackson Group. Now we're going to need a product and they told me they love our cabinet with doors. Beautiful. Everything is there. It's perfectly set up. Now, I want to go into the other info tab and show you something real quick. And that's basically that if you see over here, the fiscal position is set to automatic tax mapping Avatax. Now, since we configured it earlier, Odoo uses the Avatax API to automatically calculate the taxes based on the customer's validated address. And isn't that perfect? Now, let's go back over to our order lines. All right, so here we are. Now, I can manually trigger the Avatax calculation by clicking over here on the compute taxes using avatax button but there are a couple of options that automatically trigger the avatax calculation one trigger is when the customer views their quotation and confirms it in the front end customer portal other automatic triggers are clicking send by email or confirming the quotation into a sales order in our case let's do that email give that a quick second to load us up right there Create my PDF and beautifully as you notice even inside of the lines. It's already been updated. We started at 140 We're at 150 155 So let's go on and send that and As you can see over here on our right side if we open this up We also have it updated in the PDF that's located for the customers email as well And it's already been updated over here automatically ah, Beautiful now on other documents such as invoices and subscriptions there are also automatic and manual triggers for the Avatax calculation. The automatic tax mapping Avatax will also be applied on those documents as well. Now the tax calculation that you just saw is automatically triggered when you validate a draft invoice, the customer views or confirms their invoice in their front end portal, a subscription generates an invoice, or the customer views their subscription on the front end customer portal. And on invoices, there's also a manual Avatax calculation button. For companies that use Odoo e-commerce, the Avatax API automatically calculates the tax when the customer reaches the last screen of the checkout page. And isn't that beautiful? So I think it's time that we, you know, confirm this over here. So we're going to confirm this. And it's finally time. Let's create that beautiful invoice. So we're going to create an invoice, regular one. And we're going to view it real quick. And there's a reason for this, Odooers. Now... Once that we're inside of here of our draft invoice, what if I decide to give my customer a fixed price discount? Now, don't you worry. Avatax includes discounts and adjusts the tax accordingly. So, let's give them that discount. We love the Jackson Group. Let's give them a negative quantity right here. Negative 80. And there we are at 59.55. So, what ends up happening now? Well... The tax calculation can even be done on negative subtotals and over here as credit notes. If we click on the compute taxes using the Avatax API again, boom, gives us the proper amount. Now, in addition, Odoo supports uncommitting during a tax period. For example, we can reset this invoice to a draft as well as turning it into something that is void if we need it. Now, Everything went great, so it's time I show you that Avalara portal. So let's go on over there. All right, Odoo, so here I am on my Avalara account. Now, I can find all the transactions and invoices that Odoo has sent to Avatax, as well as the detailed explanation of how taxes were calculated, tax reports, and tax filing resources all on this portal. Now, in addition to the tax calculation service, if we click over here into Returns, You'll notice Avalara includes tax return services for when it's time to file taxes. It's always tricky, so it's good to have help. Now, if we go over here into exemptions and customer certificates, you'll notice in addition to that, we also have exemption certificate management. And here is the area where we can actually add or import our customers' exemption certificates so that Avatax knows which customers are exempt from taxes. Now, Avalara also offers tax research and business license services in the Avatax subscription. Ah, it's all beautiful. Now, before we go, I want to mention some limitations. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that Avatax will use the company address and not the warehouse address. Now, second, 
excise taxes, such as those found on fuel, tobacco, alcohol, are not supported by the Odoo Avatax connector. So please be sure to keep that in mind. Now that's it for this video. Now don't forget to read our related documentation and watch the other Odoo accounting tutorials. Now thank you for watching. Have a great night.